Oof. Check this out. This is an old fashioned Southwest Louisiana rabbit sauce pecan right here. Simple ingredients. I got onions, celery, jalapeno peppers. And can't forget the garlic, baby. Of course. Then I got a whole rabbit right here, cleaned and cut, marinated. Marinated it for about five or six hours, but as long as you can let it go for it, you wanna let it go. Got a heated pan right here. I went in with some oil, and we're just gonna brown off our rabbit here. Just a decent sear here. Oof, the smell is just amazing. Let me go ahead and take it out here. We're not trying to cook the rabbit all the way, just a good sear. And then we're gonna deglaze. You can deglaze with anything. You can go water, chicken stock, wine, Hennessy, whatever you want here. I just went in with some plain water. Go ahead and scrape it up, get everything out of there. And then we're gonna save this. We're gonna put this on the side and we're gonna save this. I'm gonna show you guys a little later in the video what we're gonna use this for. Look at that. Now we're gonna make a roux. See, I went in with a little bit of canola oil, unsalted butter, flour. Go ahead and give that a whisk just to ensure there's no lumps. Oof beautiful peanut color where we're going for. We don't want to go too dark on the roof of this. Then we're going to add our vegetables here. Onions, jalapeno peppers. After about four to five minutes, we add the garlic. After another two to three minutes with the garlic in there, add your tomato paste. Then we're going to let that caramelize a little bit. I would say for about three to four minutes. Once that's caramelized, we'll add our water. About a half cup to a cup at a time. As you're pouring, keep stirring. Make sure not to add too much water. And you'll see the sauce will be nice and velvety. Keep adding. Keep going, keep going. You see, to remember those drippings from earlier? We're adding that back, getting it reacquainted with this pot. Oof. Nothing but flavor, baby. Get it with a little bit of salt. Fresh cracked black pepper, of course. And then guess what? We're gonna hit it with that two-step fire, of course. They gonna have to put this on the cracker, I promise. Get that nice and stir it up. Checking it out on the spoon, still a little too thick. Add the rest of our water here. Stir it up, check the consistency again. This is just how I like it like that yes sir bring it up to a boil now we're gonna cover it up let it simmer off for about 45 minutes to an hour you can see a lot of this grease is kind of rose to the top we'll go ahead and skim as much of that off as we can now nah, just hitting it with a little bit more salt a little bit more Cajun seasoning. Still skimming that oil out of there. And you'll see it's gonna be nice and velvety in no time. You can see I hit it with a little bit of granulated garlic and a little bit more cayenne pepper, just to get a little bit more on that heat side. You know, we like our heat here. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our rabbit in here. Just go ahead and get it in that gravy. I got my heat on medium low here. All those drippings that was in that rabbit, put that in there too. We ain't losing none of that flavor here. Oof. Bring it back up to a simmer. Look at that. Oof. Nice and velvety, just like I was telling you guys. But we not done yet. We are not done yet. So once we get everything covered up, engraving, we're going to cover it up. We're going to let it go for another 35, 45 minutes. So right here, this is after 20 minutes. Went ahead and checked it. Oof, look at that. We're gonna let it go for another 20, 25 minutes. And after that, look, it's done, baby. Taste it for seasoning, it's perfect. 
ready to be plated.